You took you took what you took the American way to do the American thing. What, what do you mean I took the American way? I didn't want no more kids. Do you think if you was in a different country, that would be the same outcome? I, I don't yes or no? know. Because I, our country our country teaches you to wear uh condoms, take birth control, spermicide. Our 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 government forces you to learn this stuff and they put this in your head. But at the same time, they sell you on the market. Godfather. Yo, yo. I need your help, man. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. But listen, Godfather. Godfather. I, 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 I need your assistance, Godfather. I came across, I came across this TikTok. And this is not trucking related. This is more of a okay. life related type deal. But I figured you being a Muslim and a and and a gentleman that have multiple children, but I think it, it's multiple children by one wife. Female? No, I got three wives. Oh, you got three wives. Okay, so you got multiple children by three by three wives. Am I I'm, am no, I saying? I got multiple children by fifteen different people, but I got three wives. Wait, wait, okay, see this? That's why I knew you was the perfect person to talk to about this topic. So let okay. me let, let me set it up for you. So, so okay. I've seen a I, I've seen an episode. I can't remember the lady's name, but I'm going to say Oprah. Oprah's friend. She got this show called Fits My Life or some some stuff like that. The young man that okay. is featured in the in in the season one, and I'm not sure when this was aired but now it's making his rounds on tiktok as it always does he has that's a dark skin uh lady what's that lady name um i i can't remember her name but i'll just call her for, for right now we'll just call her oprah's friend okay but the gentleman at hand he's a producer he got money it's not like he don't have no money or nothing like that this young man has fathered 34 biological kids by 17 yeah. different women. Right. I know, I, I, know the, I know the story. Okay. I'm confused, sir. And help me out with this because I'm, 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 I'm struggling. Well, I'm not struggling now, but when I had the one kid, I was just struggling okay. with one. How is this man actually able to mentally have some type of, I don't know, some, some type of bonding with 34 different kids? Now you being that you say that you got like fifteen, how how does how does one with that many kids actually bond with all of them? At different times. I mean, they're all not the same age, and they're all in different age groups. So they 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 came in waves. So in that in that particular moment, in those particular waves that they came. He was with them children. He bonded with that. And then when he moved on, you know, they grew. And then the next wave came through. But these are 34 kids by 17 women. And majority of them was pregnant all at the same time, at the same sir. Time. At the, yeah, at the same time. I got, I, got, I got the same situation. My are in set by different people. It happened. Okay. Now, now let me ask you this. Now, not without getting, getting into your business or anything like that. Uh huh. But how how did you manage to meet the women? Was it like doing a break, or do the women know each other? Like, what was your situation like? Um, at that time, I was in the in the entertainment business, so you know they was there. It was just people in the entertainment business that I met through the business. In the entertainment world, in the entertainment world, you know, it's it, it, it's there for you. All right, now mind you, this gentleman had him had these women pregnant all at the same time. I'm not sure if you was in that particular situation, but what if yes, you? But what yes, if you sir. were? What? But what if you were in that situation, and each one of those women came to you at the same time and said, "Hey, I'm pregnant." They what? all came at the same time and said they were pregnant. I got I got four children. They're all 24 years old. They all. Uh, what day? A month apart? No, Jackie's August. Everybody else is December and one March. So I got August was the first, and then two in December, and then the the last one out of that four was born in March, and they're all 24 now. Ooh, okay. But all those, but but those women that told you nine months prior at the same time, what was your reaction 
to all four of them that particular time coming to you saying, hey, love, I got some good news for you. I'm praying it. Then the other woman tell you, hey, I'm praying it. And then the other woman tell you, hey, I'm praying it. Like, what, what is all of this going through making you feel right now? Well, at my, at my, at my uh, uh, situation with the four, they, they were all, uh, uh, their moms was in a fight. The four of them was at a, fighting each other, and I happened to separate all of them. And then uh, I calmed them all down and gave them all the child. And then I, uh, they all ended up being friends now. They were in the fist fight at the club that I was working in. Okay, so like you had these women at different parts of the club to get their phone number and get that close to them. Like, what was yeah. the courtship like? I I would like to know what what the now these women that was fighting. Okay, they did they uh -huh. know it? Did they know each other or they didn't know each other when when this all jumped nah, off? The, 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 the fight started because the newest one had kissed me and the other three. So you so you knew these women already prior to them coming in the club? Yeah, they was already on the team. Wait, so you invited all these women to the club at the same time? Bro, you better man than most. Yeah, yeah they, they came and they, you know. So D, man, you anticipated. So D, you anticipated it, this fight? No, 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 no. That was the first time that ever. That was the first time that ever happened. What happened was the newest one, the the newest one, and one of the ones that was already on the team, same color, same style hair, just happened to have on the same color top. So when the others saw the newest one, they thought it was the one that was already on the team trying to shine at the party by giving me a kiss during my birthday set. And when they realized that they all had done, started a, a, a all out, a, a, a okay corral type ball, the newest one and I walked off. And then I had to go back and, uh, you know, separate it and, and break everybody up and put them back in their, their perspective places. Okay. So these, these are women that was that well these are women that was already on the team i i get that i understand that but how does one able to get a get away with a get away with with 17 females bro how is one Dina? able to how is that because i cheat Dina? now now i cheated i cheated on my wife and she found but you out no she found but you wasn't honest that's you, you use the word cheat. That's not being honest. You're not giving them a fair opportunity. Okay, but do you? If they want to give, but, you didn't give them. You didn't give them the fair opportunity to make the decision if they want to be a part of that. Okay, okay. So, but let me ask you this though: in in dude's situation, and the only thing we can do is speculate because we we don't we, we don't know his life truly. Only what was told on the show. But do you honestly think that that? All, until later down the line, because some of the females did say that they didn't know of the other woman. Right. right. So it could be possible I, I, that he was cheating. That's with not the, called cheating. Right. That Oh, that's not called cheating? That's not called cheating. How is that not called cheating? Because they didn't. Because now, honestly, one, they mentioned that they did not know of the other women. They didn't know, but they was not married to him. How is it how is it cheating if you're not married to them? If you're in a relationship or a friendship or a fuck ship or any type of ship, how is it cheating? You're in the ship. You're not married and you're not in a commitment. You're in the ship. A ship goes upon the travels. People aboard the ship, people leave off the ship. So as long as long as you're on the ship, you're gonna have passengers board, you're gonna have passengers leave. Some of people some will stay. Some will go. Some will transfer. They don't want to go off at the next port and, and, and take a ride back on a different ship. Now, obviously, some of these women in during the show, I believe, like I said, I only seen bits and pieces of it. Arella or Nella, that black lady that used to get on had her talk to everybody. Stay. I don't know, but we're gonna we're I, gonna keep it. We, Ayana, Ayana Yvonne. Ayana, okay, yeah. Ayana, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Op Oprah's Oprah's friend. They were gonna call her on me. Yeah, o Oprah's friend. They Oprah's call her friend. On. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They were gonna they was gonna call her to interview me and I was gonna diss the shit out of her so they didn't do the interview after the uh after the uh we did the uh presentation. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You you just threw a curveball at me. Run that by me again? They they wanted to put me on that show and uh 
because I was going to diss her ass and put her in her fucking place and tell her she need to mind her fucking business, they wouldn't let me do it. So we didn't get the air. So he ended up with the air. So they did. He played so, the role. So you saying that a producer reached out to you that, because, because of how many kids you got? Yeah. But you would it be safe to say that you're in a religion that would that would allow that many no. kids would that many women? No, not at that particular moment when I was doing it in the wrong aspect. I do it in the right aspect now, but at that time I was a gunslinger working in a club and I was touring all over the, the the country and I was just being a gunslinger at the time. I wasn't practicing like I should have been and I was young. And at that age that I was, I didn't follow the guidelines and the rules of uh, 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 what I was supposed to have been doing. Polygyny is a, is a very serious thing. Polygamy is a different thing. Polygyny is when you marry. Polygamy is when you just wild. So I was in reverse. We, we talking about 34 kids here, bro, about 17 different women. And some of the women are still, quote unquote, messing with the guy. Not because yeah. of the kids, but they still yeah. messing with the guy. Like, I believe she told the, like, she said that the one yeah. chick is still sleeping with the guy. Yeah. So what's wrong with that? They good people. They still, they still in the friend zone. He be, if he being honest with them, if he's being honest with them, that comes with it. That's just what they choose not to go nowhere else. They choose to stay with him. They they choose not to go out there and allow other people's spirits and, and, and energy to enter them. They stay where they at and they work on what they got. See, every time a woman allows a different man into her, she brings on that man's personality and his energy. So every time, and so she slept with ten to ten guys. She in, she got ten different personalities injected in her, and ten different energies injected in her. And then she's a she's a piece of work to the next person that comes along. Okay, so is that the now, same? Wait, wait, is that the, you? You just said what you just said. Don't that goes for the guy? Dude got no, he got I, seventeen I, different. Can, he got he got seventeen. Can, Go ahead. A woman can't enter a man. Oh. God damn it, man. A woman can't enter a man. Only a man can enter into a woman. A woman can't shoot nothing of hers into a man. But a man can shoot his energy into her because he has entered into her. If those two never, ever physically interact with each other, she would never take on his personality. She would never take on any traits of his. But the moment she enters into he enters into her and he releases, she takes on a trait of his. His DNA goes into her, whether she conceives or not. His DNA goes into her, and she takes on a trait of his. At some point, she takes on some type of trait of his. Whether it's violent, whether it's promiscuous, whether it's a foodie, whether it's a party, she takes on some type of trait of every man has entered into her. And then she becomes a different type of masterpiece. So if she has 10 different people enter into her and release into her, she's a, a person that now talking about, oh, I don't need no man. I don't need this. Because now she has developed all these different traits that she's not valuable to herself no more, let alone the market. So she takes herself out of the market and then she's useless. So you have to understand that the smaller her intake is, the more opportunity she can become the one for somebody. Or she could join a team and now she could become a player, a, a person on the team that has a position and they all striving for greatness together. Instead of pulling each other apart and downing each other, they build a, a commodity and join a team and they, they move forward to build. Okay, a man that sees a woman with 34 kids, in his mind, that makes her a 304. But, with a, but, but when a woman sees a man that's financially stable. Let me just throw that out there. Okay. And he has 34 kids and he's over here talking about marriage and a woman okay. would see that and be like, oh, okay, I don't mind. Let's do it. I, why, why is it, why what? is this, this, why, what, what is the difference other than the money, oh. other than the money? Why, why isn't he called a 304? Because all of the women that he bed, which is 17. How would, he, how, how would he be a 304 when... How would he not? We, because you're talking in today's term and instead of into the land 
the law of the land and the law of the human. Okay. Talk Men to. were put here to produce. One man can can enter into 50 different women in a, in a 24-hour span, just hypothetically. But all of them can only have a baby by one. He had a baby by all of them. But they all had one baby by him. So how's he a 304? He did well, a couple, a couple of them the had multiple babies. A couple of them had multiple okay. babies by him. Okay, yeah. They didn't have multiple, too. They went back for the next go round. That's his job is to produce, to be fruitful and to multiply. So he's being fruitful and multiplying. He couldn't possibly been honest with all those women, though. Well, he's well, on, I mean, he's honest with them. He's up. honest with them now. Now, but now, in but he, but in the beginning he wasn't. Ridiculous. Say what now? Right, it probably took a little to get there. I wasn't honest in the beginning, but what I learned, the honesty was the better way to do it. Just be honest. Either she gonna either she gonna join in or she's gonna walk away. Well, but you gotta give her that right. Okay, so let me in ask the you. This. When we were young, when we were young, we didn't know that. So let me ask you this. We didn't know that when we were younger. Go ahead. Now let me ask you this. Do you think now, as of now, because it's his financial status and his and his standing is the reason why the women will continue a quote unquote relationship with him? No. I think the people that's with him are the people who stuck it out with him. They went they they were the ones that uh was in the gym shooting with him. I think the people that stuck it out with him are the ones that deserve to be there. Now, they coming, coming they from stuck the... it out with him and out of fairness, he did what he had to do out of fairness and he those that stayed, stayed. Those that left, left. And it's only fair that the ones that stayed get to uh, uh, reap the rewards of his financial status. Now, if he got a brand new person that came in that uh, has nothing, uh, no children or nothing like that, then I don't... Me personally, I wouldn't allow it, but they don't have that same uh, uh, position. You're not going to come in as an intern and think you're going to be the vice president just because you knew. It doesn't work like that. You got to work your way up the ladder because there's already people in their position in his life. There's people in my in my life that's already in their position. Everybody has a position. It's, I mean, look at your 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 CEOs. Of a, of a corporation. Everybody under them have a position. Everybody has a job to do for the corporation to run correctly, right? Right. The truck company you work for, there's, a, there's a, a, a head person in charge. And underneath the head person is the people in different positions. And everybody has to do that for that truck company to run. All the way down to you for that truck to start and roll. You need your dispatchers. You need your your, uh, uh, your terminal managers. You need, you know, you need your safety department. You, you, you know, and, and in this type of relationship of polygamy and polygamy, everybody has a position to play. So one man has his group of what he put together, and they become a team. They become an organization. They become a corporation, you know, and some may not stay because they don't meet the qualifications and, you know, things that got too hectic. Like, put it like this. If you got three women in your life and it's just you, you're a $100,000 man, and each one of them, or no, let's say you're a $300,000 man, and each one of them are $150,000, how much are y'all making a year? Is that a question for me? Yeah. Shit, I don't know. You just became you just became a million dollar uh, uh, family. Yeah, but we're not even. The, oh Lord, I love how you just how you can take the narrative and 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 take it all the way around to to to, to because your everybody point of view. wants to play. Everybody wants to attack the negative, and nobody ever talks about the positive and the reality of it. Because if we go back to the law of the land and the biblical times that everybody claims they believe in God and everybody swears by their religion, everybody in their religion had multiple wives and multiple children. Okay. So, okay. 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 So why does it have to change now? Because we what? are in this government society. What? Okay. 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 Because, it was, because, of, we... because of the 1600s, the government took over and made you think what they want you to think. Okay. D. D. D, D, you, D, let's get off the political. Let's get off of that. Here's the thing. But that's okay. where it comes from. Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Because I'm a truck driver, you're a truck driver, and us truck drivers has this long-standing stigma from all these women 
that claims that we have yeah, we females women, women, we all go. over the world and we got kids. We got women everywhere we go. Exactly. Right? So why is it and a now, why now, why on, why on, on. no why is it a bad life for us for us when when a woman talks about us and having that many kids? Why why is it a bad life for for us when we try to I guess gauge a relationship? But it's okay for my man right here that got 34 kids and he's trying to gauge another relationship and a woman to be like, oh, okay, I'll get with you regardless of the fact that you got 34 kids. But let's say I got like 12 kids from 12 parts of the world, but I'm the bad guy because I'm a truck driver. You got to remember your pro, the, the U.S. people are programmed to think the way the government wants them to think. They forced you to believe that's the negative. You were forced into that thinking. Now, I may, I've i made the narrative different now because now that we got so many female drivers, they got dick in every town that they stop in now. Yeah, you, you, you now got a point about that. The opposite of what we got. So now when you throw that back on them, now they want to, oh no, not me. But when a dude say, oh no, not me, that's not what I do. They beat you down and say, oh no, that's not true. My uncle was a driver. My father was a driver. And they had, they had. Well, guess what? Now your mother's a driver. Your aunt's a driver. Your sister's a driver. She gets dicked down in every state she goes in. She gets them to live to the dick. Now what is she? So is she just a trucker living out a trucker's uh, uh, legend, or is she a 304? Okay. Well, before we get on up out of here, because this has been an interesting conversation, before we get on up out of here, look, I, again, I came from the old school. My my grandfather was was a Rolling Stone. Back then, we called it Rolling Stones. We, we ain't call it what it is today my my grandfather has multiple children by by a few females why he was still married let's just say that but uh, stories like that from 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 the south because that's where my 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 granddad is from and probably from other from other people that's down south because the young lady that he that he married she had multiple kids by few but it wasn't it, it wasn't as potent as it is now because of social media the way social media is now is how they come out here you you got some females that are proud to be part of the baby mama clique dude has 34 kids and 17 females that they all know each other now you know what i'm saying as they should as they should so but what about what about the kids though what about the kids, my man? You got thirty-four kids. All my kids, all and my I, kids know what all my kids know one another. They get along fine. They get along better than we get along. They have the kids bond with their own. The kids make their own bond. And if and you talk to those kids, those kids have their own bond. You have you may have a few disagreements here and there between the older and the younger, or the middle may disagree with the two on the out. But the kids work their own magic. They have their own bond. I can't even speak about how, I mean, to see the things that my kids do with each other, I'd be shocked half the time. I'm like, damn, they be having get-togethers and even invited. And I love it. And he had, and if you listen to his story, his kids got along the same way. They wasn't beefing. It's never an issue to outside people that claim they know so much, but they're so government, they want to throw the negative at the narrative. Yeah, but some of the kids in the story, and we're going we gonna to wrap it up, some of the kids in the story is it's not even feeling dude all like that some of them don't even have a relationship with with him one of, one of the female one of the female daughters just said dude it's a sperm donor that's it yeah because that's what she was programmed to think and that's what she was programmed to feel where did she get that where did she get that ideology from her mother her mother put that in her head yeah i'm probably gonna have to she agree with up. you on that she, one she didn't grow she didn't grow up to have that thought process. She grew up because the people that she was around growing up put that in her head. They had these conversations around this child. So she grew up to say these things. She grew up to feel that way because she was already programmed by the people around her in the household or the community that she grew up in. He might not have had a connection with her because of the mother. But I bet if it was up to him, he would have loved to have had a connection with her. But see, everybody want to beat down the father, but nobody ever goes back and asks the mother to take responsibility for her actions for them to be a part 
What did the mother do? The mothers never, ever get grilled in these conversations because the mother always forget to tell her part of what she did that caused him to move on. They all going to swear on a stack of fake Bibles that they didn't do nothing. But they had to do something because he was gunned home. I, you said you got caught cheating. When you was messing around, the person you was messing around, you was all into for the moment because she took your mind off of whatever was going on back at the ranch. Yes or no? Yeah. Something, something yeah. was taking place back at the ranch, and now this person came along, and she eased the thought process of what was going on at the ranch and made you feel a little bit better and put you back in a okay. position where you felt you had control of yourself again. And then when you would get to the ranch, that black rock would just come tumbling back down on your ass. And then this one would come back and give you the strength to pick that rock up and move it. Now you're in a situation because now the ranch might decide, you know what? I might want to stick around and make this work. So the ranch decide to make the rock instead of being black. It's gray now, but it's too late because your mind and heart to move to a different part of the land. So you started planting your feet in a different soil. So now that you've got a little growth going on, the ranch sees this growth going on. Now they want to cause a problem. She want to become the weed whacker. Yeah, but I didn't set out to make kids with other women. No. I, I I took you, the I, I, I took precautions in you that. took you took what you took the American way to do the American thing. I, what, American. what do you mean I took the American way? I didn't want no more kids. Do you think if you was in a different country, that would be the same outcome? I, I don't yes no, know. Because I, our, country, our country teaches you to wear a condom, take birth control, spermicide. Our, our, our government forces you to learn this stuff, and they put this in your head. But at the same time, they sell you on the market. But wait a minute. Wait, wait oh, no, we, we, we going into a whole new conversation. I, bro, every time now, I try to wrap something if up. If you was in another country, if you was in another country, those two women would have had children by you because you wasn't going to be programmed to feel that you should be wearing a condom. So if you grew up in Africa, where are you getting this condom from? Where you going to get a, a, a lamb and then take it and wrap it around your meat and, and say, oh, no, but we're not going to have no children. Well, I'm, See the difference? I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can get condoms in Africa now. Today, maybe maybe today, not back yeah. then, but okay. now. So growing up, growing up, what's your 56 now, 57? 55. Okay, 55. Don't, don't try, don't try up, to rush it. When you were in high school, you didn't have those same thoughts because it was taught to you to have those thoughts. It was taught to you to take a condom. It was taught to you. It was almost forced on you from school. To have a I want to probably agree to disagree with you on that because I seen when you were in school. How, when I you were seen in school, no, no, I seen new, no, I on, seen like I like, you to no. Listen, listen. I'm going to tell you. No, no, no. I was not introduced to no condom. I knew about the condom because I seen at at the wait at in my era. I seen all the kids that was popping up around from these from different mothers and fathers. I knew when I got of age and I started rocking out and I was young, I knew I didn't want no kids. So what I had to do, I had to go and get condoms. How'd you and, know about them? What do you mean how I know about them? I went to the drugstore. How did you, so you just hit the age of puberty and said, I need to go get a condom. I knew I I knew I had to go again. I knew I where had did to go. it come from? I came from the Think trust. About what I'm saying to you. Oh, okay. It was taught to you. It was taught to you. You didn't just think of the word condom and what it was and what it uh, protected you or well, what it stopped. At that time, it was introduced to you. It at was, at the it time, was introduced to you. At the time, I will probably agree with you as far as the word condom. Yes. It was always. And what it did. It was always. It was I'll put it like this. I'll put it like this. I ain't. I ain't gonna fib. But I ain't gonna cap. It was introduced to me as protection. The word. Okay. Now, the word right condom. There. At the age that you was. Right. Hold it, on. At the age that it was introduced to you. It was introduced to now, me as protection. Now travel out of the United States. You travel out of the United States. Let's go into uh, uh, back. So that was the 80s. 
So yes. we're that about 88, yeah, 80, about the 80s, 88 yeah. around 88, 89 times, right? Yes. Take that same era. Well, a little bit earlier Travel because I was 15. Seat. Okay, so 83, 84. Okay. Okay, so now travel over to Africa or Saudi Arabia or Sweden or any other country. Let's even do the Caribbean islands. Do you think that they had the same introduction? At the kid that was your age, the boy that was your age, do you think he had the same introduction? Probably not. Why? Because their government wasn't trying to take control of the population or take control of how society would be run. You have, you can't skip the fact that the government has controlled everything you've done from your existence at birth to present. You live in a country that is controlled and they do it in such a way that you don't even realize they're controlling you. You were introduced to a condom. The kid that was 15 out of this country wasn't introduced to a condom. They didn't have commercials about uh, teenage sex and they didn't have Planned Parenthood coming to the schools, you know, and they, you didn't go downtown and ride past Planned Parenthood and see these people with picket signs and you know, all these crazy pictures. They didn't have that. So what were they doing? They were making children. So it, it's not, you can't blame the, the situation on, you know, this guy, this guy should have wore protection. I mean, it's not about that. It's about following the law of the land. And if your mind is programmed into this society, you're going to always have this negative. Oh my God, I can't believe this man has all these kids. He probably don't even take care of them. That's the first thing that people say. So for all the negatives that you can think of is what people are going to say. No one's going to walk up to you and be like, yo, that's beautiful. That man got 17 wives, 34 kids. They don't look at what the blessings could be. They don't look at what the positives could be. they never going to speak about that, ever. You know why? Because it's too good to be true. Your first initial thing to this conversation was how can he have 30-something kids with 17 different women and know right. them and have a bond with them? You came with the negative off the road. Never once did you sit back and say, damn, I could probably learn something from him. I don't know about what? that. Well, oh, wait, yeah, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. I, I, you're right. I'm glad you mentioned that. I did learn something from this guy. I, I honestly really did. I know now that I, I I I know that I don't want 34, <laughs> 34 kids right. by no 17 different you know. women. I know to protect myself. <laughs> Thank you. You know. That's not for you. Think about it. Everything ain't for everybody. Because if that was the case, look at the word kings and queens. Everybody uses this word kings and queens. Everybody swears they're a king and every woman swears she's a queen. Right. But none of them have a kingdom or a kingdom. Now look at him. He's a king of his tribe. He's he's an executive of his tribe. Let me ask you this, D. And we're gonna and, and we're gonna and, and we're gonna get up out of here because I'm about to park. Okay. What if he wasn't financially stable? Then what? He still would have them. Because one thing I could tell you, those kids was going to make it regardless because God takes care of those children. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you try to shoot him down, if he didn't have the money, I don't have the money and my kids made it. Kids make it. Women are given a gift from God that there's nothing you can say or do. They make it. Whether you want to step out and go back into your real thoughts or you stay in your government thoughts. If you stay in your government thoughts, you're going to be like, oh, well, who's financially doing this? And who's financially doing that? Or they're probably on welfare or they get government assistance. My tax money is paying for it. That's what you're programmed to think automatically. You're automatically programmed to think that way. Never once will you say, damn, that motherfucker made all them kids. And they, they, they healthy. They they, he might got a college graduate over there. He might got an engineer over there. And they all doing fine. He got 17 different baby mamas, and all of them are doing fine. I don't see none of them out there prostituting. I don't see one of them out on the corner being a junkie. I don't see his kids running around sticking nobody up. Nobody talks about that. The first thing they want to do is say the government thing. Who's taking care of them? Oh, well, now that he's financially situated. But nobody ever thought about they were going to make it regardless. Because to have that many kids is a blessing from the creator of above. Because what? you could be with a woman right 
now, and you know this to be true, that you done skied it up in a million times and never once did she concede because God did not find y'all compatible to do that to. He chose not to give you a child with that person. Not that you wore a condom. It's because the creator of the Most High did not allow that to take place. Hmm. This man had 34 children with 17 different women, and they were all chosen to have them by him. Shout out to that man. He was, Shout out he to was, him. And, he and, he's, and he and and he's one and I'm gonna have to give it to him, regardless of the fact of what it looks like. He's he's taking care he, he's he one. taking care. You know what I'm saying? He's 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 taking care of him. So can't say that he ain't he was the chosen one for that tribe. That tribe, he was the chosen one to build. There was a reason why they were allowed to have him by the different people he had him, because somewhere in our life, not our life personally, but in lifetime that we're in, they're gonna be somewhere to be something or to be somebody to make something happen. There's a reason for everything that we do. We don't know what the reason are for his children. I don't know what the reason are. Hello? And I love it. Hold on, you just yeah, you just you, broke you, up. You say you say you don't know the reason what now? You don't know the reason why we have these children, him and I, because we got the he only got four more than me. All right. My next generation after my kids, I got twenty eight grandkids. My tribe is growing. My tribe is growing. And his tribe is gonna grow when he's when his grandkids start having kids. And when my grandkids start having kids, our name is gonna live on. So there's something there for a reason that we had these kids by multiple women like that. Whether it was 10, 3, 17, 20, it doesn't matter the number of women that we had them with. There was a reason why we were put their lives. There was a reason why they uh, allowed us to impregnate them because it was out of their control and out of ours. And everybody's kids have made it. And that's the part, and that's the part that show will never air. That's the part that they're never gonna talk about. They have to talk about the negative. They're never gonna say what I just said. No, because they want to put in the rest of the people's mind that this is a horrific thing to do. This is the worst, this is a horrible thing. This man is terrible. Stay away from a person like this. But not knowing, he, he was sent by the Almighty to make that happen. And on this note, we can end it.